All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 mod spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Chinese uniform mod, which is being made by user Chad95. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add in the game is not just one, but in fact, uh, three lovely new Chinese uniforms, along with a Chinese combat helmet for you to enjoy. And I quite like this and think it's kind of a weird oversight in the game that you don't really find these sorts of uniforms around. I mean, there's a Chinese submarine in the harbor, and there's no, like, Chinese uniforms anywhere? Seems a bit weird, but hey, the modding community is here to help us. And they are three wonderful things. Let's take a look at what we do get here with the Chinese fatigues. I'm actually showing all of them on here. They are, in fact, three different sets of fatigues, but they all have exactly the same stats with no physical damage resistance whatsoever, but it will add to you one point in strength, one point of agility, and will weigh three. And it does come in either the clean, dirty, or winterized versions. Now, after that, we also do have the Chinese Combat Helmet, which actually is going to give you some protection with 10 damage resistance and for a weight of 3. And all in all, they are some pretty nice little items. And I do like that we get the three different versions that you do have here. And like I said, they are in fact three separate kinds of actual uniforms. These are not modifications of, say, just the one basic Chinese clean fatigues right here. No, these are in fact three entirely separate things that you will find out in the world. And, well, speaking of that, how do you get your hands on these? Well, you are going to have to find them. There are literally only three versions of the uniform in the world. Well, technically four, we'll get to that in a moment. Where you can find these, though, quite easily is at the Yangtze. There are three of these uniforms, one for each kind, just sitting around in the bunk area down at the lower level of the submarine. Now, the helmets, on the other hand, those are going to be found in the uh, armory for the submarine, and you're only going to find two of them in there, which is a little weird. We got three uniforms, but only two two helmets. Now there is somewhere in the glowing sea a Chinese remnant soldier who's, well, you find him dead. And he'll have a full set of the fatigues and helmet. But yeah, I was unable to find that thing anywhere and uh, there was no indication on the mod page as to where that is. But hey, if you're adventuring on the glowing sea, you might find one of these there too. But yeah, the main way is going to be on the Yangtze. Now, that does mean you're not going to be able to, like, deck out an entire settlement of people in this stuff, which is kind of unfortunate, as there is no way at the moment to go and make it at a chemistry station. And sadly, there's no way to make them better. Uh, if we do go over here to the armor workbench, you can see I do not have available to me either the helmet or the fatigues for you to add any linings on or anything of that variety. Hopefully that changes. I mean, this is sort of a first release of this and is also meant as a modder's resource, so other mod makers actually can use these in their own things, which is kind of cool. I can't wait to actually see these perhaps used in some other thing down the road. But there is one interesting benefit to these uh, Chinese fatigues, and that is you can actually put on exterior armor over it. So these are just sort of fatigues like you'd find for any other one, and you can throw on, say, a chest piece or something along those lines, which I'm just now realizing. Did I take that one off earlier? I could have sworn I left one in my inventory. Ah, uh, yes, I put it in there. Wonderful. Whoops. Now let's grab that back out and put on this heavy leather chest piece, and there you go. The fatigues do not come off. So you are able to layer on top of these a number of different armor pieces to give yourself that extra protection. Now, there is a slight downside to it if you do like to play in third person. It kind of clips a little awkwardly. Now, the front, as you can see, it kind of clips in just a couple of places. It seems to clip a bit more in the back, as you can see there, as the fatigues are actually surprisingly bulky. But, yeah, they do still fit. You can have the armor pieces over the top so that you can get a little bit more protection. But all in all, I really like this thing. It's It just seems, again, like me to be a weird oversight that despite having 
a full Chinese submarine in the harbor that there's no Chinese fatigues lying around anywhere. The only uniform we get is the one on the captain guy. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm not remembering any others. So having these in the Young Z for you to find and use, I think, is a pretty neat addition. And just, you know, a fun little uh, thing to have in the Commonwealth. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. You do come back for the next but Until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.